right, hey, welcome back to Minecraft. Let's dive in. So, uh, let me actually go back to my video settings here and and turn on full screen, and we can get started. So, where I left off yesterday, let's open up the world and see. I believe we were uh, partially done with our house. I think this, yeah, there we go. So, there's our house. As the world loads in, we're looking over here. Um, I think in this video, we'll finish up the house get moved into the house it's just kind of a blank shell right now and and by moved in i mean get our crafting table furnace and bed in there and then we'll furnish it up a little bit we'll get some bricks and get those going in a furnace i think i'll get some more furnaces and i'll need to mine some stone for that uh, but let's go ahead and get started i think i'm going to put my fish in here get those fish cooking and that'll be a nice source of food and while that's cooking i'm just going to mosey on down here and get some clay we're gonna need clay for some bricks uh, they're not necessary for the build of our house uh, structurally or anything they just uh, improve the aesthetics and and i find them quite nice so we're just gonna head down here and mine up this clay and we'll need four clay per brick so we'll just need a whole lot of this stuff and thankfully there's a lot of clay over here it looks like we have a lot of veins of this and a lot of clay deposits um, and it looks like our wheat is growing here I will uh, make a more systematized approach to farming that wheat I uh, will make it look a little um, a little nicer put some some wood on there um, create some structures kind of like what you'll see in villages we'll create a similar setup to that uh, there we go. So we're, we're already getting off the ground with a lot of clay here and so that's pretty good Let's just go through here continue grabbing some of this clay while our fish cooks and there we go it looks like this clay is all spawning in a very similar way um, and that's that's neat uh, where it's always in that state that same uh, same pattern there there we go there's some more clay but um, it's a little faster to mine the clay if we uh, are standing out of the water if I'm standing in the water I guess I must be underwater and it's gonna be real slow for me but if I'm actually above water here, it's a pretty quick process. I wish these veins were a little bit larger, but uh, but you go the extra mile to uh, to get a nice looking house here. So what we'll need to do is smelt all of this here, all this raw clay, and then we can put that right there. And then with that uh, smelted clay, we can make some bricks that we can use. Um, it'll it'll give us some bricks that we can turn into an actual brick block so pretty much every I think each of these clay blocks produces four if I'm not mistaken for these uh, little clay dusts here oh, that's crazy looking water animation it's all foggy um, so each one's gonna give us four so I think each one of these will translate into one uh, actual brick for our final house here so if we divide that by four so we got that's probably enough that's probably enough for now, so I'm gonna head back. And if it's not, we can always come back. We have a whole lot more here. And uh, yeah, let's leave the swamp here. Oh wait, there's some more right here. Uh, but yeah, we have enough for now. So let's head back and eat some fish that we uh, had cooking. And I do see some uh, some cacti over there, which is nice. Um, that will be very useful for building the frog house, which is that crazy idea of um, a house that looks like a frog will be building it should be pretty sweet let's grab this fish here and eat so you can see my inventory is getting pretty full and that's a lot more um, replenishing than an apple which is nice so my inventory is getting a bit full here so let's go ahead and start moving into the house I'll run over here and we can uh, I'll fix up this uh, entrance area here as well, uh, but let's make a couple of chests. So we'll do that and then Oops, I'll just ignore that. My launcher quit unexpectedly and it uh, needed to let me know about that right now. All right, so let's, um, let's get these chests going here. Take two of these and um, I haven't thought too much about the structure of this I'm thinking maybe we just do two chests and two furnace uh, so we have a double chest double chest and then two furnace on top there um, and yeah so we have a, a real large chest here we can 
deposit some of our stuff that we will end up using later, some plants and, and whatnot there. Uh, now we can pick up some more things and, um, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get our furnace setup going. We'll need a lot more uh, furnaces in here. So let's go ahead and mine some stone. And uh, the stone is going to be a, a big deal. We'll need, um, so we're going to get four furnaces. We already have one, so we're going to need three more. Each one consumes eight, so we'll need 24 of this uh, stone right here. Just mine it out. I'm trying to make it look at least a little bit natural, um, just so that uh, it remains aesthetically pleasing. Um, maybe something like this. Do I have enough? I do. Awesome. So that should be good. Let's head out here and head on up to our house. I'm going to go harvest this furnace here and actually my, my bed and crafting table here at the same time. So we'll grab that. We'll grab the crafting table and the bed. All right. So pick those up and head back to the house and get our bricks smelting. Uh, one thing to consider is I do have 20 uh, charcoal here, which is nice. It's a good amount. We'll need to go mining at some point and, and get some more of that. But uh, let me let me light this up a little more. Uh, I think once we install windows, this is going to look a bit better. But for now, it's a little dark. Um, put that right there. And let's test my theory real quick. If it's possible for a chest to open up when there is a furnace on top of it. I'm not sure if that'll work. And it won't. So I may need to reconsider my setup a little bit. Or maybe just two double chests is going to be fine for me. Um, at least for now, with this smaller house, that, that might actually just be enough storage space for me. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just leave it as it is um, and just have a, a little, uh, maybe a window or something in here. Um, but let's go ahead and create the rest of these furnaces All right, and get them set up. Uh, let's head in here, put that there, and then one, two, right there. All right, that's look, that looks pretty good. Let's make one more chest. Then... Uh, we will make a double chest over here. All right, and that looks pretty good. So we'll also want to smelt some some sand here and, and make some glass. Uh, let's see that. I think maybe eight might be enough. I'm not sure if that will actually be enough, but let's try it out. Um, Let's try eight in there, and then just put everything we have right in here. And I will need to chop some more trees and get some more charcoal. Um, I think just for now, maybe I'm probably not going to go mining for a while. So let's just go ahead and make a bunch of charcoal with all the rest of my oak and take a quick trip over to the, uh, the, the tree farm area we have set up and, and uh, get going with some... Uh, some of our uh, tree chopping um, stuff going on here, our tree chopping. Uh, since we'll be using that as a, a source of fuel as well as um, we'll need it for the house. So continue to chop some trees. looks like the sun is headed down. I think we are going to stay up all night this time. I'm gonna light up the outside of my house and I may reconsider this, uh, staying up all night. Maybe I do wanna place my bed down in case I die. Uh, I'll have a respawn point, but I guess that's not too big of a too. Uh, that's not a big issue right now, actually, because I am pretty much a spawn here. So uh, let's just chop a bunch of these trees down. Maybe get some apples. But uh, the main thing we're looking for now is, I guess, a bunch of wood. And I did decide to upgrade my axe here to to go full on the um, on the uh, iron plan there, just because it. Um, it's gonna work a little faster for me, which is super nice, especially since I'll be relying a lot on this. Uh, let's get some saplings replanted here, or not saplings, saplings uh, replanted in here. Just run around here and plant a bunch of these. Get our tree farm set up going. And there we go. And head in for the night. Um, there's going to be a lot of a lot of baddies spawning around here, and um, do I want to sleep to set my spawn? I don't think that's very important. Um, the only reason I would want to sleep is for light, 
uh, that would be a, a super oops super important reason uh, to sleep but I think I do want some skeletons I want to fight some skeletons so staying up all night might just be the thing to do to make that happen all right so I think we're right there and uh, I'm right here and we will need some more torches but I should have some charcoal in there going um, so we should be good to go let's uh, just grab this here get rid of that axe and maybe I'll make a sword out of iron. I was planning on making a um, a bucket with the remaining three iron I have, but possibly a sword would be better. I'm not sure. Let's see how this is coming. So we have a bunch of bricks going there, and that didn't that didn't go very far at all. Um, let's make some more torches quick with this charcoal, and I do have 33 more oak, so that should help us move along a bit faster with our um, with our um, production here of, uh, of charcoal and um, as well as uh, for our, our the base of our house there as well so let's make some more torches here then outside yeah it is super dark um, yeah, is there is there any kind of like settings I can turn on here? Video settings, uh, render distance, frame rate, full screen current. Let's see. There's no brightness, Moody. Now let's see if I could just set it to bright and see what that's going to do for me. Awesome. That brightens things up a little bit. Um, now awesome. Yeah. So I can see real far now, and that'll probably make for a little bit better of a video too. If you can see everything I can see, and we can see what's going on. So I see a spider over there. That's going to be one mob I am going to want uh, to have is, is uh, spiders for the production of string. So let's uh, let's grab that spider there. And we do have a zombie with a sword and a skeleton. So that's nice. Nice to see. And there we go. We got some string there. I need two string. I'll need two of that. So um, we're halfway there. This guy's got an iron sword. Make sure he doesn't hit me there. All right, then the skeleton. Fighting skeletons is a little bit of a harder thing to do. Um, they just because they have that range on us, uh, whereas we have to fight in a little more of a, a close range battle to win to be an effective fighter. And I think we are on hard mode, so that's going to be just another thing putting us back a little bit. Is that we are on hard mode? Let's get out of here. Let's get this spider over here. So, get on the high ground. Oops, he got me. Alright, there we go. Alright, nice. We did get a spider eye as well as enough string to make a um, make what we need to make a fishing line. And we could do a little bit of fishing as well. So, let's get this uh, skeleton over here. Let's get its attention. There it is. It sees us and it shot us. Let's uh, retreat to the house a little bit. Man, the skeletons are good in hard mode. Um, let's uh, get some fish in our system. All right, he lost sight of us. And there's a creeper, of course, so let's run over here. Man, we really don't want creepers around here blowing up all of the stuff I have created. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it would be a good idea to go to sleep um, right here. Don't want this guy to blow up. At least if he blows up, he's, he's far enough away from our house. Yeah, hello. Excuse me. No, thank you. I think one hit. No, it's five hits. All right. Well, he blew up here. I do need a little bit of dirt. That other creeper probably just saw me jump in the hole there. And there's more creepers. Yeah. I'm probably going to head in now. Uh, it's getting a little overwhelming with these, uh, these monsters out here at the moment. I thought it might be a little easier to, to get the stuff I need from the skeleton, but it is proving to be a little bit harder. So let's just head inside now and uh, yeah, maybe we'll come back to that when we have some more armors, maybe better weaponry and whatnot. All right, let's collect some of our brick here, some of the brick we had going, and we do have some more charcoal. Keep that brick going and looking found that brick over there. Let's eat some fish. Uh, some cooked fish here, cooked salmon, and get our hearts back up there, um, and put this back. I think fish, 
fish might just be the staple of my diet here for the short term. Uh, if we're not going to be able to get a lot of uh, skeleton bones at the moment, um, we might just have to do some fishing. And, and so I'm going to go ahead and create that um, that fishing pole there, and we'll we'll go ahead and do that. All right, there's our fishing rod. Um, so let's create a few more hook planks. All right. Um, where should I put my bed? Um, the, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and sleep through the rest of the night here, since it's pretty ineffective uh, in hard mode as it is to just um, to to hunt skeletons like I'd like to. Um, maybe we'll put this here, and yeah, that's that's probably fine. We'll just sleep the rest of the night away here and and do some fishing and finish up our house. All right, so I'm getting hungry again. As you can see, we'll wait till I get a little hungrier, but uh, we have our hoe and some granite. Uh, we could also style up our house with some granite, but let's take all the bricks we have and just make some uh, some bricks right there. So there's a brick and we're making bricks. And these bricks look really sweet. Uh, we'll definitely use these in, uh, in our house, uh, but we'll just use them on our shack here for now. One thing I do want to watch out for is that creepers don't die during the day. I don't believe they do. Uh, ever since I had played last time, I believe they have the ability to survive during the day. So that is something to watch out for. And um, so something I'm a little, little cautious about here. Let's get my sword out and step down here and see what's going on. Doesn't look like there are any creepers around. I'll end up clearing out most of this grass here, but let's just uh, go ahead and start by um, replacing our door here and, uh, and putting our door back on. And then I think that's going to be pretty good for building out uh, the entirety of our floor here um, just with this brick. I think that might look pretty good. Hmm. Or. Hmm. Maybe I could consider maybe some andesite or granite, since I do have some access to that right here. I don't know if I have enough, though. Uh, we could always go mining for it. I think it is pretty pretty common in Minecraft to find this stuff. Oh, that's gravel. We don't want gravel. Um, maybe let's just mine some of this out here and see what we can make. Uh, I believe there was an introduction of a thing called a stone cutter, and I'm not sure if we'll need that. It doesn't look like it. It's showing me I do have some new recipes available. I'm just considering some other alternative options for our floor here. Um, maybe some polished uh, diorite, and let's get some polished granite real quick and see what that looks like. And, uh, then this is andesite. Yeah, we don't have enough andesite to see what that looks like. But um, but do I like the look of one of these two items right here? Hmm. I guess the the granite might not look too bad. If I could get it like enough of it, it might be a good look. Huh. We could also shear a bunch of sheep, maybe start a sheep farm and get a bunch of carpet. But um, Maybe for now, I'll just stick with this brick we have. But um, but it's good to know we have these other options for some future design stuff. Let's take this here, make some more brick, and there we go. So yeah, let's continue uh, carving out our floor here and replacing it with our brick. All right, there we go. And we'll replace the sides here with with our with our oak, our full oak logs there. All right, let's get our brick on hand, and I'm not sure if I have enough brick for the floor. It's it doesn't look like I'm going to have enough brick here, um, so I may need to go back and grab some more of this. And at the same time, let's get some more charcoal going. Um, let me get this in there, get some more charcoal, and, uh, and continue replacing our floor here. Let's take our bed out for now. Let's see here, 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 and here. Um, take this. There we go. 
Yeah, so I think once this is done, it should look pretty good. We just may need to go back and, yeah, we'll definitely need to go back and get some more, uh, some more brick. Go harvesting and farming for some more brick here. And this may not be the most effective way to do this. But um, it seems like it's uh, just a pretty simple way to go about it. And it, uh, it's worked for me for now. Oops. All right. We have some brick here. Let's just get uh, one charcoal here. And uh, that should be good enough to finish that up. And uh, let's actually take most of this and put it back over here. Keep our charcoal production up. And uh, yeah, okay, I don't think that looks too bad. Um, we will definitely need to go back and get some more. But for now, um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's just finish replacing some of this area. Very cool, very cool. All right, yeah, and, and I do like the way that looks, um, just the kind of contrast there. And we'll build up uh, probably brick steps. Let's just go down here and collect all my stuff, all the extra oak planks we now have. And I'll put our bed back down here. Then let's see what this looks like from the outside. And uh, go grab, chop down a few more trees, just enough so we can replace our um, our pillars right here. We'll make that uh, full oak uh, planks there. All right, here we go. Head down here. So we will need 12 of this. And it does look like we have some mature wheat over there. It's not all mature, we just have one. Uh, so we'll be back around to, to get that fi fixed up. Um, eventually here and since I'm most likely going to be relying on fish for food at least in the short term here um, I'm probably good to go to hold off on the farm at least a little longer until I can get some more iron and we can go ahead and um, and use our iron to make a sword and possibly some flint and steel to burn down some trees like this that may appear um, in case of uh, yeah sometimes these uh, these larger trees can form and we'll want to get rid of those just because they they can leave a lot of uh, leaves and, and whatnot behind so it can be good to just burn those down So yeah, we will uh, probably in the next episode finish up with our, our brick on our house. And for now, let's just get this going here. And so I think that that'll look probably a little bit better. Um, let's just get this here, here and there, one, two, and three. And then do a little terraforming real quick here. clear the area out a little bit then one two we'll do one two three all right awesome head over here one two three place that up cool cool and that's probably looking pretty good one thing I could do is build out a basement and um, I had anticipated this would just be a temporary home, but we could actually just build it up and make it a little more of a permanent structure if we added uh, maybe some uh, some burned, uh, whatever it is. Uh, it's stone. I believe it's what you get when you cook cobblestone. Uh, you, you can get a nice looking brick uh, that you'll find in strongholds and whatnot. Uh, let's, that's real nice. Yeah, keep our charcoal production up. Let's get that going. And, uh, and yeah, so having a, a um, an abundance of charcoal will definitely be good for cooking all of our stuff. And since we're going to be cooking these bricks and possibly cooking some cobblestone, depending on how um, how uh, our bricks look. And I think you saw it on flash on screen there uh, when we 
uh, have four of these stone, we can actually make a nicer looking stone. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll see what that looks like here in a second. There we go. So let's see what this looks like. You just arrange it like that, and we have stone brick. That's what it's called. So the stone brick may be what I use to to finish out this uh, area here. If we end up having maybe a basement, uh, maybe like this, we might uh, might end up finishing out up like that. Um, two different types of bricks. I'm not sure if that uh, that conflicts in uh, in maybe an unpleasant way, but uh, but I think it looks fine at least for now. Um, we'll probably finish out our basement uh, looking like that if we do uh, create kind of a basement structure. And uh, and that'll you know discourage creepers and whatnot from coming up under our um, under our house there and blowing up our floor. So yeah, for now I'm thinking um, that's probably pretty good though, just to go with that. And we have um, some more bricks we'll farm in the next episode. As uh, our day ends here, I'll probably wrap up the video. But in the next episode, we'll go through and finish up our house. I thought we may be able to get it finished today, but since we're adding a few more layers here, um, that may be a, a project to complete another day. But uh, yeah, so I'll wrap it up for now. In the next episode, we'll probably do a little fishing and uh, chopping down some more trees over here. But, uh, but uh, yeah, this has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me in this uh, Minecraft video here, and I'll see you in the next video.